uh, just from practical experience, our, uh, you know, our customers will say, um, just like any feature, frankly, I need to understand how this was computed, how it was calculated. Um, and so there's sort of two levels we like to think of it. One where maybe the, the buyer or the administrator or the, the leader might need to understand actually how, you know, how, how we are um, you know, building the algorithm, how we're treating it, and how much data is informing and influencing it, you know, because data, because these are learning systems, they amass over time, and it gets more reliable and better with more data. They're data-hungry applications, if you will. Um, so that's one level, and, and, and frankly, with or without any kind of regulation, any kind of policy, customers are just asking for that as a preferred experience, right, for working with us. And the second is the end user, the, let's say the worker, the manager, the multi-level manager, if you give them a scorecard and you say a metric is up or down, they kind of want an explanation, don't they? Um, they want to see additional reports. They want to know how that was calculated. They want to know why. They want to know why from the system and then why annotated from maybe another human being. And so we get that pull. Similarly, if we make a recommendation on a piece of learning content, they actually want to know why they made it because you had the skill, because you have this job interest. And so I think the user experience, both at the administrative and the end user, are dictating transparency. And, and, I, and I like that pull. I like, I like how we're um, kind of learning into this, and not to overuse the word learning, but growing into this uh, new capability.